How's it going guys? This week I'm making a Whirly Gig airplane. If you guys want to see how this project is made as well as some plans for it, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show ya. So for the airplane Whirly Gig, I don't really need a whole lot of wood. What I have here are some scrap pieces of plywood. I have a three quarter inch piece of plywood and this is probably like five and a half, six inches wide and about four feet long. All I need it for is to accommodate for the fuselage. So I have plenty here to fit that. And then all of my other parts are gonna be cut on the half inch piece of wood. And for that, it's probably about 12 inches wide and four feet long, but you still don't even need that much. All it needs to accommodate for is your wings, your propellers, and then your tailpiece. So other than that, I mean, you don't really need a whole lot of wood. And besides wood, you're gonna need some paint to paint your Whirly Gig. This paint is good for indoor and outdoor use, so that's why I like it a lot. And then I also have some very tiny nails here. And what it's gonna be is, it's just gonna be for holding on the front of the propeller to the actual fuselage. So then I'll be able to spin the propeller. But other than that, that's all you need for this project. So let's go ahead, get started with putting these templates on the wood. So I'm gonna start by attaching my templates to the piece of wood. And for that, I'm just gonna be using some spray adhesive. Now if you wanna make this plane yourself, I'll have a free download of the templates in the description below. So now I'm gonna use my bandsaw to cut out all these pieces. If you don't have a bandsaw, no worries. You can use a jigsaw, they're only like $30 for a cheap one, or you can use a scroll saw if you have one of those. So I got all my pieces cut out. One thing I did do was I realized that these blades are probably a bit too thick for half inch wood. So I went ahead and I cut out a new set of blades with some quarter inch plywood. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and drill a 3 seconds inch hole right here in the center. Now it all depends on what size your nail is. This is just a hair bit bigger than the nail so that it can easily spin around here. But the head of the nail is actually wider than the hole so then it can't just slide right off. So you have to use a really small bit for whatever size nail you have, but I'm gonna go ahead and drill that out. Once you have that hole drilled out, you can go ahead and take off all the templates that you have on here. You'll no longer be needing these. After, one, after we get all these off, I can go ahead and start sanding all my pieces smooth. pieces sanded but I almost forgot in this front piece here this little circle I need to go ahead and cut some slots on the side so I can attach these propellers so let's go ahead and do that
So I got everything ready to be glued up. I'm gonna apply some glue, and then I'm gonna come by with some small nails, and I'm just gonna tap them in to kinda help clamp them and hold them in place until the glue dries. So let's go ahead and get the wings and the tail on. So I just got done gluing the plane up with wood glue. Now for the prop, I was originally gonna use epoxy, but I can't find it right now, so I'm just gonna settle for wood glue. Either way, it's gonna work great, so let's go ahead and uh, assemble this. So once you have your aircraft assembled, you wanna go ahead and paint it. Now if you see all this white chalk looking stuff over it, that was spray paint, but for some reason it wasn't sticking to the plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it with some white gloss, just brush on paint. Then I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint blue stripes on this once I'm done. But other than that, I can paint my propeller black. It's just for some reason the white spray paint isn't sticking to the wood that well. So I have my airplane all painted now. I think it looks really cool with all the stripes and everything. What I did was I cut out a one and a half inch by one and a half inch post just on a two by four and I painted it black to make it look a little bit nicer. I added a nail on here and this is basically gonna be the stand for my airplane to go. Well, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hot glue this on to the post, but before I do that, I wanna go ahead and attach my propeller. So for the propeller, what you wanna do is just take one of your nails feed it through the front, and then I added these washers on the back as a spacer, because otherwise if I put the nail right on, then my uh, blade wouldn't be able to spin, it would get hung up on here. I didn't really notice that in the beginning, but after I kind of started playing with it, I realized it fairly quickly. So I just have a nail going through here, it can spin freely on, then these washers just act as spacers. So let's go ahead and nail this uh, propeller on. So I was actually able to just push it on there because it was plywood so it went in fairly easy but now I got a propeller that spins. So that's it for this week's Whirly Gig project. I think it came out really cool looking and uh, once I get some wind I'll get some better shots of it spinning. But uh, hopefully you guys like this project. If you did, please show me by hitting that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, I try posting new woodworking videos almost every Tuesday. So if you could hit that subscribe button as well, that'd really help me out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week.